So it's also quite an interesting way just of, you know, dividing something up into regular, regu you know, we started with something curved I and mean, there's nothing curved over here. Now we're coming to the sort of exciting bit. <laughs> it's going to be really good. Yeah. But I love it. this is about, you know, in London, you can pay, you know, five pounds for a cupcake this big. That's about eight dollars. So I think we should go, oops. No, I think who who wrote this? Who is, who is the mysterious FG? FG, um, you will be interested to discover, was Francis Galton. And Francis Galton was, sorry, I can't concentrate, I can't talk, I'll do this thing. And we, we, I, th I, think, I, th I think basically that's it. I think you give this to the dog now, right? Yeah, I think you. I think that's good. Yeah. So, Francis Galton was on, one of Britain's most important scientists. Um, you could call him actually the father of statistics. He um, was Charles Darwin's um, first cousin, and he had a family fortune, so didn't really need to work. So was the kind of gentleman discoverer and intellectual. And he made so many contributions. He was the first person to do a proper weather forecast. So you could say that he invented the weather forecast. He invented um, fingerprinting. So, uh, and he was so obsessed with measuring. And when he started measuring things, he discovered um, what we would now call regression to the mean. That was his big thing, which is the basis of so much of statistics. You know, he, the um, Gaussian distribution, or the normal distribution, um, normal, the word normal is down to him. And in a sense, you know, the entire edifice of statistics in the 20th and now 21st century could not really have happened if it wasn't for Galton. He was obsessed with measuring. He even had a thing called the anthropometric laboratory in Kensington in London, not far from here, where he would just measure people. We had some assistants to measure people, the size of the head, you know, the strength of your punch, um, because he saw that when you start to measure human characteristics, um, even though everyone is kind of random, whatever the, the one person's statistics are going to be as random, as a whole, they obey these really interesting patterns and the normal distribution, the most famous and the most common one of them. What was he doing writing a letters to nature about cutting cakes? Well, <laughs> tea time is very important for uh, the British and probably more than even, you know, an established uh, Victorian scientist like Galton. And he loved tea. He actually did lots of experiments to measure, to try and work out the perfect way to make a cup of tea. What temperature, when do you put the milk in, when do you stir it? These are like really crucial things. I think that everyone has their own way of making tea. And Gordon tried to find a scientific method to make the perfect cup of tea. And actually, he failed in that. He couldn't really work it out. But I think you will all agree he was much more successful in uh, working out the scientific way of cutting cake, which is always the companion to, it should be, the companion to a nice cup of tea. <laughs>